Right, okay, hello. Um, this is a picture of a uh, spaceship going past a planet, which is going past a star, which is quite nice. And there's another planet. There's one other planet. So I'm starting it out by doing, like, the basic shapes in sort of uh, the kind of the glare colour. And obviously the background of space is black, but the, the flare from the star is is making this bit of space quite glowy so there's a kind of an atmosphere of blue uh so coloring in the star look it looks like a blue white star i don't really know what it is i've not really got a clue about this picture you, you normally kind of get a bit of a bit of an idea about the picture. i don't always do my own screen loads of the times i don't do my own screenshots you get a bit of a clue about the pictures that you're doing uh from looking at them really intensely for a bit but to be honest, I, I just just was in a bit of a hurry with this. I was copying it. Look how that planet is like a, a melon. I've, I've really never quite fixed that, I don't think. Never mind. And this, These are some brand new chalks I got recently. And uh, whilst they're fabulous, I'm not entirely sure whether or not the white is white. or Because it's really hard. It's really solid. So it doesn't actually want to blend much. But it, it's fine, I'm sure. These, You know, we'll see. Um... Right, so this is this is the 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 eclipsing, I don't know the the the, the ring arc, you, you know the penumbra, baby beady, whatever it is thing that you get when the light is behind something, sort of silhouetting it. Look, I'm trying to fix the shape of that planet again. Never mind. It's, it's quite a striking kind of tonally as an image. I think that's quite a nice one. I can see why um the um maker has done it this is uh doing for um brother sabathius which is who is um was it brother sabathius i'm fairly certain it's sabathius but then i say everything's that ah because ah, i have a wide flat open vowel sound but never mind oh look there's the the arc of the galaxy anyway so yeah he did did this screening and and i was keen to do some pictures for him in a kind of like cheery way so I, this is one of the screenshots he said have a go with this one. So I've had a go with this one. I really enjoy the the colours in it. They're just gorgeous colours to use. And uh, it was nice using my new chalks as well, which is good. Um, I get myself in a bit of a muddle, to be honest, with quite a lot of it. Um, this is still the glow of the star on, I don't know, atmospheric dust or background, whatever. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, start to try and show. You've got pretty much flat black for the planet tiny bit of detail here and there but this is just sort of that reflected uh, i don't know whether there's an atmosphere on the planet but there's that kind of like slight glow over the over the horizon so i'm trying to show that that comes round i quite like doing that sort of thing that that um that that subtle kind of change of colors and tones i quite like flat change sort of colouring in stuff it's, it's quite satisfying chalk makes it really easy as well this is the um the brown side of the milky way there's the purple side of the milky way and the brown side of the milky way in elite i've noticed uh, this that, that's the underside seems to be the orangey brown side here don't know which way up that is some people will bound to know and i'm just trying to show the the, the fluffiness of that the um the star clusters in the distance there in the distance, they're a little bit further away than the planet. Anyway, so now I'm trying to... Oh, gosh, this bit. I, I got into a right faff with this. This is this picture of the speeding spacecraft is all engines. You can really not make out much. It's really small. I found it quite difficult to make out um, super details on it because, of course, it's, it's both partially silhouetted and it's also in its own glare. So I got started with the... The engine trails which are quite nice and red and uh they're you know and then starting to plan out where i was going to put the engines and i'm doing this a bit of a distance so it's a little bit vague and i think i had to fix this later not to worry quite like um you know doing fluffy clouds and things that's quite nice it's again quite easy when you get into sharp sharp straight lines that that's when you can go wrong and it looks obvious when it's when it's um, when it's wrong so you get into chalk pencils and it's a pink chalk pencil so it sort of looks like that highlight but it's still got a bit of red in and that's a sort of 
light orange and a bold orange so try and get that color up uh, this looks like it might be a lava world to be honest or uh, yeah it's got to have been a lava world because of the you just don't get that glow on a black planet unless it's got some boiling soupy lakes of fire which sort of yeah they always look good i love a lava world it's not it's not it's quite subtle this one now um i'm faffing around trying to find colors never mind get in there look i've, I've resorted to big old chunky ones now to try and get the colors i want i've got tons of colors but they're all a bit all a bit different sizes and shapes so yeah. this is where i'm starting to plan out the um the spaceship i actually can't remember what spaceship it was i feel like it, it's a gunship or maybe an assault ship it's got that kind of federal look about it but somebody else is going to bound to a no better than me this is one of its side flappy bits and um the top it's got to be something federal i mean it doesn't look like any one of the uh, imperial ships certainly and and it, it's just not got the shape of the alliance the chieftains or whatnot i've got a feeling it's 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 got to be a gunship or it could be a drop ship i suppose but i don't know i've, no, I've never owned a drop ship so this is that you know um this is an artifact of the game. You get the lens flare as though you're looking through a camera at it. So that that blue stripe, horizontal stripe, is the um, this sort of um, the lens flare that you get that they've put on for you, so that you feel like you're really there because of that. Mm. Don't know what I'm doing here. It's really difficult to see at the moment because I didn't really get started with trying to make it clear what the ship was until a bit later to be honest it's such a teeny tiny it's quite hard to see anyway anyway so the plan with this was that brother sabathius said uh, he's doing this stream on sunday well uh, this sunday so i've got to get this in the post today and i haven't so that there never mind but but um this is, I think, for him, to be honest, because it's one of his screenies. But he's also going to give away uh, some of my pictures, which, are, oh, God, I did this so badly. You see, the problem with chalk, look, I've already rubbed it out there. You've got a brand new, and I'm trying it in a white pencil crayon now. Look, it doesn't go. When a pencil crayon just doesn't stick to the paper, sharpen up the pencil, the, the chalk pencil, and have a go with the chalk pencil. Nope, end falling out of the chalk pencil. And try again no it's just made a big splodgy mark ah felt pen the last resort of the hopeless still it's all good i'm trying to put the um the code on the side of the ship which appears to be ax3 and then i can't remember what it was uh three it doesn't really matter how oh yeah how <laughs> um anyway so the um oh i managed to get there in the end you can start to make out the shape a little bit better but I did this about three times. I cut out one of the times I did it. It was just getting ridiculous. I could just there was no point having that in this little video. And there I am going over it in gold, because that's a good idea, isn't it? Now this is after I've done it again, and oh, I tried so many times to do that and never got it all right. There's loads of details. If I'd have just made this whole picture bigger, that would have been much easier to do the details more clearly. But I think I think to be honest, it's just a quick fun thing that is is for this giveaway. So he's got three pictures from me that I did last year, and I, I was planning to give them in as um, auctiony type thing if I could be bothered to do it. There was a plan. I had a plan. I was going to do an auction at Lavecon, and of course that went up. So I didn't end up auctioning these things. So I've just been vaguely wandering around Twitter saying, "Please, please, who will buy my spleen?" and you know see people people have taken a few off me to be honest that's that's not too bad but i thought well it might be quite nice if if he has a bit of a um, a bit of a, a fandango because he's got some quite loyal listeners watchers uh, of his stream and they, you know it's, it's sort of nice to sort of have something to to give away occasionally i quite like doing that sort of thing so it, he's got three that he's chosen that are hanging around and I've said I'll do one um, for for anyone who wins, I guess, or he random generates someone and they get to say, draw this picture of my dog or, you know, 
draw this picture of Miss Bert Miffer's spaceship, which would be better, to be honest. Or draw this nebula. I like a nebula. Anyway, so I do that. And it's like a commission. And I, I felt a bit guilty about then subsequently giving away all this stuff on Twitter and then said, well, I'll do a painting. I said, oh, gosh, I hope that this painting is not, not going to go abroad because they're fiendishly expensive to send canvas, as it turns out. Well, it, it's all right if you take it off the canvas, but then that kind of defeats the object of giving somebody a canvas. Still, we'll see. Look at me desperately trying again with that white pencil crayon. It's all right, though, the pencil crayon. Um, it's good for details because you can sharpen it a bit better than the chalks. But it, it's it's a watercolour pencil, so it's not as bad as an actual pencil crayon. Oh, look. Look at me destroying a felt pen as well. Never mind. It can't be helped. I did get there in the end with the ship. And it's still no clearer, is it, what actual ship it is? Nevertheless, I think I was just about to put the, the engine sort of circular nacelle bits on. See what it is. Um, I've sped this up so much and must have been doing it really slowly because it's going on forever. Sorry about that. I've not really considered that. Um, what was going to say? I can't remember. Anyway, so on Sunday, he's going he's gonna to give these away. Um that would be ideal. I don't think this one, but the rest of them is going to give away is the plan. Oh, look, super cruise lines. So this was was flashing through space. It is not clear what that is at all, is it? I really have not in any way managed to capture what ship that is. Oh, never mind. Still think it's federal, though. Do a few more lines on it in a bit. There. Do a little bit of the the engine structure to try and clarify it. You know, never mind. In a distance, it might look a little bit like a spaceship, not just some lights. Oh, there's me cheated with felt pen again to try and change the shape of the planet. Look, that's me. Look, there it is. You see that bit at the top there where it's black? That I realised that I got it all wrong at that point. Nevertheless, it looks all right in the end. Actually, I don't, don't, don't fear. It does all right. It does turn out a bit better than this in the end. Um, there. That's me trying to use the end of the bit that, that just dropped out of the pencil. <laughs> I can't face sharpening it yet again. Oh, well, it's all right. It's it's worked out okay. Um, there's the nice eclipse. I love the atmospheric, not atmospheric, the, the, the astronomic effects that you get in Elite with the, the light shining. Uh, it would be amazing if you could get multiple viewpoint, multiple light sources. Like, you, you know, you've got like a, a neutron in front of you and a, and a red star, you know, star on your, well, that's the lava, I think, and a red star on your left, and you get two different tones and lights coming from different, but then imagine the, the shadow complexity if you're on a planet, and it would it would be insane, but it would look so good, wouldn't it? And, and for me, that would be an amazing thing. I I'm, I'm, can't wait to see what happens with the, um, the feety business that's been announced today. We'll see. Um, I mean, for me, that's great because I actually do portraits. That's what I do. I'm not actually a, a space of picture. I draw, I draw pictures of people's faces for money. I draw grandma for money. So so for me, that'd be great because I can draw all these figures walking around on planets um, from people's screenshots of them. And it'll be really satisfying for me. I'd lo I'll love that. Oh, I think I've nearly done. That's not too bad. Get a bit of colour on the, on the, um, the edge of the the planet and then oh, I think oh yeah no you always forget uh, nearly get there and then um, it doesn't st I still can't tell it's got a kind of a it, I th I'm sure it's something like a gunship anyway I'm sure you'll say anyway so last bits and bobs and I'm going to put some some more stars on try and get a little bit of a an atmosphere of, 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 of like slight in-game feel about it colour in the star make it look shiny and there's a slight bloom on the um, the distant planet as well, with blue as well. Oh, look how quick they do when you when you speed things up by about five five times. <laughs> this is much faster, isn't it? Nonetheless, look, I've squidged up. Oh, there, I fixed it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, a little bit of dust. It's not dust, is it? It's stars, millions and millions of stars. Anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, really, I guess I don't have anything to say except that yeah, the the the, the that streams on Sunday. And if you want to see it there, go for it. Uh, he seems like a lovely chap. 
he seems to spend quite a lot of his time trying to kill thargo- Thargoids in an uh, Asp Scout, which is laudable, really, isn't it? If insane, but I think that if if, if you're going to do that, you've got to be <laughs> you're going to be all right, really, aren't you? <laughs> Nonetheless, yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to that. That'll be cool. And I will look forward to seeing what people choose as their 